How you guys doing? This is Alan, and uh, I'm really, really feeling bummed out today, uh, more than you can ever imagine, as I've just learned the very sad news that yet another one of my great musical heroes has died today, and uh, that musical hero is Greg Lake, formerly of Emerson, Lake & Palmer, and King Crimson. It's all the more devastating because only nine months ago we lost Keith Emerson from Emerson, Lake & Palmer, who uh, very tragically um, was suffering from depression, and he committed suicide by uh, shooting himself. And now, nine months later, we've lost the second of the three members of Emerson, Lake & Palmer, Greg Lake, the singer-bassist, as well as songwriter. Well, he didn't write everything, but he, he played a part in, in the songwriting, of course. And in Greg Lake's case, he died from cancer. Uh, so that just leaves drummer Carl Palmer. Man, oh man, my heart totally goes out to Carl Palmer. I mean, uh, he lost both of his ELP bandmates this year, so I can only imagine what Carl Palmer must be going through right now. Uh, for all Emerson, Lake & Palmer fans and King Crimson fans, it's a devastating loss. Uh, Greg Lake has always been one of my greatest musical heroes. Um, phenomenal guitarist, bassist singer, songwriter, that voice of his, man, that really super powerful, rich, uh, deep singing voice of his was just amazing. And, and if I haven't made it clear enough, I also thoroughly enjoyed his guitar work and his bass playing um, and his songwriting skills. I mean, the man was amazing. I was very lucky uh, to have seen Emerson, Lake & Palmer three times in the 90s after the group got back together again briefly for, uh, for some reunion uh, shows and a couple of reunion albums. Uh, they had just released their reunion album, uh, Black Moon. That was the first tour that I saw them on. Uh, saw them a couple of times on that tour, I think. Um, and then I also saw them uh, a third time opening up for Jethro Tull. Hey, that was a great double bill. Uh, ELP and Jethro Tull. And uh, the band were phenomenal. Um, I'm still greatly in mourning for Keith Emerson. And now, shit, man, I'm now in mourning for Greg Lake as well. Um, I also had the pleasure of seeing Greg Lake... Uh, live with Ringo Starr's All-Star Band. It was the same year that he had people in his group like uh, Sheila E., uh, Roger Hodgson of Super Tramp, um, Howard Jones, Ian Hunter. Uh, that was a fantastic bill, and Greg Lake uh, was in Ringo's band that year, and uh, once again, wonderful. You know, he got to do some ELP and a little bit of King Crimson stuff as well. Again, singing great, playing great. Um, I have always, always greatly admired Greg Lake, and, and again, you know, I mean, I've got all the ELP albums and King Crimson albums, um, he only did the first two King Crimson albums, of course, the all-time classic in the Court of the Crimson King, as well as, uh, the follow-up album in the Wake of Poseidon, although it turns out, because of his ELP duties, Greg Lake only sang on In the Wake of Poseidon, he didn't actually play the bass, but he was definitely there in full force on In the Court of the Crimson King, and it's an all-time classic prog rock album. You can't really call yourself a, 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 a prog rocker unless you've got In the Court of the Crimson King, <laughs> I think, in your album collection, just my opinion. Um, and then, of course, his fabulous work with, with Emerson, Lake & Palmer, I mean, my, my favorite ELP album, if I had to pick one, would be Trilogy. Um, that, of course, features uh, Greg Lake's all-time classic uh, composition uh, from the beginning. Um, God, that gorgeous acoustic guitar he's playing, his wonderful singing, and, of course, the late, great Keith Emerson coming in with his, with his wonderful keyboard decorations towards the end, while Carl, Carl Palmer keeps the, the beat nice and steady. You know, I, th I think Carl's just playing bongos on, on that track, but that's all he needed to play the, to get the job done. Um, but I mean, the, the, the first ELP album, you know, self-titled, Tarkus, Trilogy, my personal favorite, Brain Salad Surgery, um, you know, and, and even the later stuff like, like Black Moon um, has, has wonderful stuff on it. And um, what else can I say, you guys? I'm so, I'm so blessed that I got to see Emerson, Lake, and Palmer the three times that I did get to see them. And of course, getting to see Greg Lake a fourth time with Ringo Starr's All-Star Band. My God, this has been a really, really shitty year. Uh, all the musicians and actors that we've lost. 
this year, but just, just the musicians. I mean, my God, starting with, you know, David Bowie, Glenn Fry of the Eagles, Prince, Keith Emerson, uh, and now Greg Lake, um, amongst other <laughs> great musicians that, that, that we've lost, too numerous to mention. Um, I just can't take it all in. And I can't take it all in the fact that two of the three members of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer died in the same year. We lost Keith. Now we've lost Greg. Uh, it, it it just doesn't compute, you know? It really just doesn't compute at all. Anyway, my heart totally goes out to the, to the last remaining <laughs> member of ELP, Carl Palmer. Again, I can only imagine what poor Carl must be going through right now, having lost both of his ELP bandmates only nine months apart from each other and in the same year. Uh, all I can say is I send great love and good wishes to Carl. Um, great love and, 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 and strength to uh, Greg Lake's family, his friends, his colleagues, and of course his fellow fans like myself. Um, Greg Lake was magnificent. Keith Emerson was magnificent. You know, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer were a magnificent band. Um, and, uh, I, of course, I, I love what Greg Lake did for uh, King Crimson at the very beginning of uh, Crimson's um, era. And, um, you know, it, it, it makes no sense to me that he's gone. It just doesn't compute. But um, the fact of the matter is, is that we will always have Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's music on those great albums and live recordings, and of course uh, the, the pair of uh, albums that Greg Lake did with King Crimson, the first two albums, and there's also um, a live box set called Epitaph, which I think covers uh, Greg Lake's period with the group. I don't know what else to say, you guys. I really don't know what else to say. I just can't take it all in, but I think I will definitely throw on uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's trilogy album tonight, my personal favorite ELP album uh, in tribute to both Greg Lake and Keith Emerson, and uh, and also just to, to, to pay tribute to a great uh, uh, progressive rock band, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And again, I, say, I send great love and condolences and good wishes to uh, the last man standing now, Carl Palmer, and... Um, all of Greg Lake's friends, family, colleagues, and fans, as well as Keith Emerson's uh, family, friends, colleagues, etc., etc. It's a it's a terrible year, folks. It's it's a, it's a terrible loss for all of us uh, being uh, an, an Emerson Lake and Palmer fan. I mean, this this double barreled loss of Keith Emerson and Greg Lake really, really hurts. Really, truly hurts. Um, but we'll always have the music. Emerson Lake and Palmer will live on forever in their recorded work. Um, let's be grateful for the music that these three supremely talented guys gave us. And again, Greg Lake's uh, supreme work as well in the early days of King Crimson, as well as his solo work. And um, it was a great honor to see Keith and Greg and Carl uh, live in concert the times that I did. Um, I guess the only thing left to say is, uh, Greg Lake, you are another one of my great musical heroes. At least you and Keith are together up there, jamming away and having one hell of a reunion. Uh, love you both. Miss you both. Love Carl. Hope Carl will be with us, hopefully, for many more years to come. I really, truly hope so. Um, and um, let's all raise a toast tonight to, uh, to the late, great Greg Lake of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and early King Crimson, and uh, be grateful that we still got the music, you guys. Keep playing those Emerson, Lake, and Palmer albums, keep playing those King Crimson albums, keep playing his solo stuff, and uh, and Greg Lake will always be with us, as well as Keith, and of course, the great, great music of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and King Crimson. <sighs> Love you, Greg. Miss you. Say hi to Keith for us, and... Great love and condolences to Carl as well. That's it, you guys. Thanks.